Hi everybody, how are you? Mary Whitman Ortiz here and I have some super practical tips for you today. Actually, these are the ways that intimacy can be made simple. And the question is, how can we make talking about sex easier? What is the first step you need to know so that that is something that happens in your marriage I promise you there are tips and tools and ways to make this happen. So I'm going to do a big connector point for you and then I will jump in with those, um, those steps. So to be able to talk about sex, you need a safe space. To have a safe space, you need to have trust in your relationship because this is a really vulnerable deep topic and I want you to feel comfortable I want your spouse to feel comfortable and so trust has to be there and I'm going to um, give you steps now to create the trust and there are three so the it's about um, how you listen because the listening creates this sacred space your thoughts your feelings they are valued, they are welcome, they are celebrated, and you can do that, you can communicate that through how you listen. So first of all, you want to listen with your whole body. That means you're not picking up the remote control and being distracted, you're not, you know, on your phone. When listening takes place, you are fully present with your body. The second thing is I want you to listen with your eyes by making eye contact. You're creating emotional intimacy by maintaining eye contact that feels comfortable. All right, don't get weird on me, but have that, that place, that softness, that genuine, sincere focus. So get your face on board with the project, okay? <laughs> and then the third thing um, is going to be listening with your mouth. Okay, that may seem really counterintuitive, um, but I'll explain it. You are listening for their exact words that you can re-say reframe. You're not reframing them as far as a different um, interpretation. You are repeating back word for word. This is what I heard you say. You feel blank when blank happens. You know, it's not you racing ahead as to what the next thing is you want to say that you think they should know. It's not you getting on the defense, but you are valuing them by creating this atmosphere that um, saves time and space for what's going on in their heart. And to, to make this a little bit of a broad picture for you, I have to tell you that the conversations you have outside of the bedroom is what sets the tone for the conversations you have inside the bedroom. So you need to practice this, maybe with topics that aren't quite so volatile. And, and the, the plus side is once you learn some of these deeper communication tools, then you will be able to um, have conversations about any of these really volatile topics. I mean, it might be finances, it might be in-laws, it might be parenting, it might be health concerns. So there's a lot of areas in marriage where we have delicate topics. But when you can create the safe space, I promise you, you're building trust and you are making it be okay to be vulnerable. Not everybody likes that word. Not everybody understands that word. So just know that when you are free to share from the deep things that are going on, and we all experience feelings every day, then that is going to make all kinds of intimacy better. So I hope that helps you. Intimacy can be made simple and truly we are receiving God's love for us that gives us our value and that's how we are able to extend that value to others. Thanks so much for joining me.